the floods that are choking crops in the Midwest are expected to push the cost even higher. However, when it comes to produce, there are options other than your neighborhood supermarket, and they may indeed save you some money. Action News New Jersey correspondent Kathy Gandolfo has details. She is joining us live tonight from Cherry Hill. Good evening, Kathy. Good evening, Lisa. Farm market street vendors selling fruits and produce are seeing somewhat of an uptick in business. But it's not just about prices. I don't buy strawberries anywhere else. I don't buy them during the winter from California or anything. These are the best. They are the words Jersey farmers like to hear. Faced with their own spiraling fuel costs, local growers aren't exactly offering cheap fruits and vegetables. Customers, however, seem more concerned with quality and freshness, especially in the wake of the tomato salmonella scare. They realize they have to spend the, the dollar for their food, and they want to get the best value and the best nutrition and freshness from that. Um, dollar. And you have seen an increase in yeah. business? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. It's about freshness and it's about, like I said, the price doesn't matter to me because the quality is so up there. At Johnson Farm in Medford, New Jersey blueberries are a big pick-your-own item. The first peaches will be ready in a couple of weeks as well as Jersey sweet corn. To fill the market shelves now though, produce comes from out of state. The longer the distance, the higher the transportation costs close to homegrown helps hold the line on prices for consumers. If a person buys locally, the so-called food miles are much less, so it should reflect in the consumer's pocket. Vendors selling fruit and produce from the backs of trucks, like this one in Chestnut Hill, are growing in popularity as food prices rise. It's about saving money. Trey View stocks up each morning at the food distribution center in South Philadelphia. How are you able to charge cheaper prices than the supermarket? Uh, because I work for by myself. At A simple enough answer for vendors like him. It's all about low overhead. And in turn, some savings get passed along to consumers. Live in Cherry Hill, I'm Kathy Gandolfo, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Kathy, thank you. And we're always looking for ways to help you save. Check out our Saving with 6ABC on our website.